I can hear Mitch's laughter bouncing through the halls at the moment I step through the door uh, to the house and fall into what I would guess it's the living room. It holds more people than I expect. Okay. Time out. Time the fuck out. Why is Lily and whoever the fuck this dude is in this fucking house? What? I thought you two hated each other. Why the fuck are you together? Misha, take out this fucking shirt. This dude, you look like a pimp. I'll fuck with you. Hey, Deiki, go fuck yourself. I'm on my spot distinctive and familiar blonde ponytail, and I'm more confused by why Lily is here than surprised. She said, hey, seems just that surprised. Lily doesn't look ecstatic about this chance meeting either. Sitting next to Lily is a tall, androgynous looking woman. It's a woman? Fucking. <laughs> What family am I being involved with here? Uh, in a sharp shoot. Uh, I'd like to assume that it's her older sister, but I don't want to risk it. I didn't expect that you would arrive so early. At first, I think she was talking to me, but it turns out she's referring to Shizune. Most likely, moron. Uh, I don't think- She was in the fucking room, dude! I'm just saying! I don't think Lily even notices my presence, and I've clearly walked in on them mid-conversation, and it looks like with her focus on Shizune, she couldn't hear me. I should have rearranged my entire schedule for you. <laughs> the chance says I should have rearranged my schedule just for you. Oh my god, Misha. You need to learn the f- <sighs> That'd have been nice, but I would not expect you to do such a thing. Oh, hi, Chan. You're finally here. Yeah, hello, Lily. Oh, Sal? This is quite a surprise. Uh, Akira, this is Hisao, a schoolmate. Hisao, this is Akira, my sister. Oh, hello, Akira. It's a great name you got there, baby. Mm. Yo, what up, gang? She holds up her hand in a brief but quite casual gesture of greeting. So she is the older sister, after all. Damn, red eyes. Ooh. You fucking demon. I hope we're not messing up any of your plans, since we're only going to be here for one more day. Lily and I thought she may as well come with me. Oh, wait, I'm sorry, that's Akira. Damn, I don't want to give her that voice. Akira turns to me and, like, she feels compelled to explain, and I'm grateful for that. I suppose my position here would be best described as a babysitter. Akira ruffles to Deiki's hair as he carries on this pass I'm looking displeased. Oh my god, Akira, thank you! Akira! Thank you, Akira! Because fuck you, Deiki! <laughs> that is demeaning. What? Oh, I thought Sal was saying that. Uh, really? Maybe I'll change my, my title once you get a few more years on you. Uh, or at least a few centimeters. Oh, <laughs> Fuck. Me they make an interesting pair. Although Akira looks more like a lawyer than a babysitter. Um, I'm still not sure. No shit, Sherlock! I'm still- Oh, my mic fell. I'm still not really sure why both she and Lily are here, though. Taking a glance around the room, they're probably related. Uh, there are tennis rackets, golf clubs, and even a stack of fishy poles and tackle boxes secreted here and there. Behind every chair, in every corner, and under every table, there's some piece of outdoor hobbyist equipment. I pick one up. Uh, I pick one of them up. I pick up one of the fishing rods and play with it. It's a nice house. She's in a. Uh, it looks like your dad has a lot of hobbies. For a moment, I forgot to sign what I say, but Miss is already in the process of interpreting what I said to her. I'm still not impressed by how automatic interpreting is for Misha. She's probably been doing it for a long time, buddy. You've been doing this for like fucking a handful of months. Do you fish? Uh, no, I don't know how, and I kind of want to. Um, I heard it's relaxing. Is the river only a short drive away? I'm not fucking suggesting let's do it. I'm just saying. Fucking people take a shit too literal. My whole family knows how to fish. If you want, we could go there sometime. Probably. Sure, I guess. You and a dick can fish? I didn't expect people your age uh, to know, considering it's almost seemed like a hobby for old men. Uh, I think you're just not about that life. Like, do you go hiking? I went hiking yesterday, alright? In a place in, San, in fucking San Gabriel. That shit fucking was beautiful, alright? If the water was more apparent, then it would have been, you know, a lot more prettier, but, um,. Akira, go fucking hike. You know, Lily's great at cooking if you want some fresh fish. Hold up, don't don't make Lily fish. She's right, what the fuck? Wrong? She's blind, fuck it. Oh. 
Got a lot of reasons. Ah! Oh! This is gonna be a weird family. It's not hard to follow a curious train of thought. If you want to eat fish, we can go to the store. At least voice sounds more authoritative, authoritative uh, than usual. She really doesn't seem to share her sister's enthusiasm for the idea. She's, <laughs> she's in it. <laughs> it's for fun to go fishing. We could even make it like a game and try to see catch the biggest one. That could be exciting, right? Yeah, hey, Chad, what do you think? It sounds fun, doesn't it? Yeah, it definitely could be. It sounds like a plan. I don't know how to fish either, so now's a good time as any to learn. Her eyes shift towards Lily, who remains unmoved because she can't fucking see! This sours a curious smile a bit and makes me wonder why Lily's being so obstinate or obstinate about this. I don't think we have enough fishing equipment for everyone. It's okay, just take turns. Exactly. See? Thank you. Wait, team battle? What? Why? What is she saying? You grew up with Shizune! What? How the fuck do you not- How do you not know sign language? If you grow up, I fucking- Oh, uh, if you grow up with somebody who's either fucking deaf or blind, you learn how to adapt with them and fucking help them out and figure out the fuck they're trying to tell you. Well, not the blind part, obviously, because they can still speak, but what the fuck? How do you not know? I have, I have a couple friends, right? They have a brother or a sister or maybe even a mom or a dad, right? Parents. Uh, they're like death, and obviously the kids, if it's the parent that grew up, you know, death, um, learn how to speak sign language, they can communicate with their fucking parents, or with someone who has a brother. I have someone actually who has a brother who can't speak at all. Uh, and he can't hear, so he, which I guess is mute? No. I don't know, actually. Uh, but he learned how to speak sign language, just a way to communicate with him, and he knows it at such a high level that it's, like, easy. So, it fucking... How the fuck do you not know? Hideki, you fucking L. We can take turns, and she also wants to make it a contest, so, there you go. Come on, Lily, we might, we might as well make the most of it. So this is going to be a little competition to see who can catch the biggest fish, or the most. It looks like the older sister understands better, as always. Can you stop talking shit, babe, for one second? The Chan said that she supposes Lily would prefer to go to the store, right? It's much less work. Okay, Misha. So it's natural that she would. Going fishing would be more fun, though, and save money. Akira, you have the right idea. Misha, are you fucking with me? Because you sound like... You fucking know when she's in this trying to be fucking rude. I'm watching you, Misha. Cut those goddamn drills off. <laughs> Akira gives a gracious and a slightly stilted smile, and Shizune's praise wasn't her goal after all. Isn't the river quite far away? It, uh, I, maybe? I don't fucking know. I don't think it's that far. It, I can drive if we have to. I'm okay with it, as long as you catch something. Can your cart fit six people in a whole lot of fishing gear on top of that? She purses her lips, ooh, and her, as her fingers subtly, eh, subtly uh, move, counting up the amount of passengers and uh, the required cargo. If, if we're going to be taking me, she's in a Mesha, Lily, Kira, and Hideki. Six people. Damn, I correctly fit five. Actually, if Hideki was sitting on my lap, we could... I'm not sitting on your lap. Aw, oh, you baby as you want to sit on your lap. Aw. Aw. <laughs> it was obviously a joke, though. So Chan says uh, that her father's car would be big enough. What? The Fuga? If he doesn't mind us using it, then I guess we have no cho other choice. Feels kind of bad at forsaking my car, considering I won't have it for much longer. Are you selling it? Despite Lily's obstinacy and Hideki's questions of whether or not we'd prefer to eat first, then bet on a fish dinner that might fail to even or to ever materialize, there's no way to dissuade Akira Shizune as they agree on the transport plan. Ow! Oh. So we're just going fast forward just like that? Okay. Hold up a second. I am looking fresh to 
death, boy. It's Sal. Good job, buddy. You looking fly as fuck. Lily has a cross? What the fuck? I didn't notice that. Okay, interesting. Mish is passed out or getting her dick sucked. Akira, looking cool. Shizune, smiling. Kind of cool. Maybe she knows. Oh, damn. It's all looking sexy. Oh, shit. Da, 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 da. All right. Thank you all for... Uh, actually, how long have I been recording for? Thank you all for watching. My name is Caesar. Please write us on Ask CDP. Don't forget to like this and subscribe. I will see you in the next episode of Katsu Shoujo. Take care and, of course, good. Bye.